Just want to say a final goodbye to HBO Boxing. I believe and speculate that it may come back at some point in time. But it's the Boxing Clinic and more. CJ Goodfella. You know what the business is. It's kind of like an open letter here, right? Open blog, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, HBO Boxing of recent, all right, has been bull crap, okay? Since the Devin Alexander fight, fighting Timothy Bradley, they put a lot of promotion money into that fight, and it didn't live up to expectations, okay? Um, in that point forward, that's the point, I think it was a breaking point, excuse me, for HBO going on this um, European um, fair-skinned, white-skinned, pale fighter um, to, to look to bring the masses to, to HBO boxing. All right. And it's not a bad idea. Okay. Um, because, you know, I think boxing is in need of a great white American fighter, you know, it speaks English and all that. I'm not mad at them, but when, you know, you have Jim Lampley at one point, Larry Merchant, Max Kellerman, uh, Harold Letterman, when you have all these dudes, you know, just hating and openly being biased towards certain fighters, even if it's there, even if it's an HBO fighter has a deal, you know, it's in their best interest for them to really be biased towards them. They won't do it. OK, they legitimately it's, it's legitimately like being at a fight party and you got Canelo fans and, and just an example and Triple G fans arguing over what they see in the ring. Nobody's really being unbiased out of the group I name. Nobody's trying to call out how they see it. And when Roy Jones comes in, or Hopkins, or at one point Foreman, at one point Andre Ward, when they come in, or Lennox Lewis, they had to really try to even it out. Okay, they had to really even it out. And basically, what Roy Jones became was spell check. You know, he was a correction. He had to correct Jim Lampley. We got it wrong. He had to correct Max Kellerman when he was being biased. He had to, what the hell is Larry Merchant? I mean, Harold Letterman saying he had to collect, uh, correct Larry Merchant. And. And, and and it just became, like, the commentary just became unbearable. It, it got to the point where, you know, I wouldn't even have HBO at one point. I would just watch the streams on Box Nation or Sky Stream because just the commentary, man, the commentary and then the outrage, it would be like, uh, it's like very being very, very emotional, okay? Nothing wrong with being emotional, but it's like, um, you know, it's like a fighter being knocked out and they very emotional or or taking a hard loss, you know, in the ring. And then they want to interview him right now, but he don't want to interview right now. Y'all interview him anyway. He just let everything off his chest. That's how they be. If they got in win, they let it off his chest. Like the Algerian, like sometimes it's just not about race. Like the Algerian Provodnikov fight. They swore up and down because Provodnikov had busted Algeria face up in the first round that Provodnikov was winning that fight, but Algeria was outboxing him. And they act like it was the worst decision they had seen in their life. Okay. HBO commentary killed the killed the network. I mean, it was constant battle of who who favorite fighter you know was winning. It was not calling it down the middle. It was a stupid gaddy list. It was just it was just hatred. It was it was hatred. It was treason at at its highest in its perfect form. Okay, they didn't want to bet big up the American fighters. They was tearing down Roy Jones. You know, they was tearing down Floyd Mayweather. How do you tear down the money, man? The the one that you groomed on this network to become a big star and you tear him down and you let Larry Merchant do what he want to do and tear him down after in, in every interview and expect him to stay over there and take that abuse. Every time Pacquiao fight, they, they, they damn near throw a sausage fest for him. When Floyd had fought, all they want to ask him about the Pacquiao, Pacquiao, you know, you scared of Pacquiao. And all that stuff. But at the end of the day, who made more money longer? It was Floyd. Pacquiao sparked out, right? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they had they pledged allegiance, not not to, to just race. They pledged allegiance to style. They wanted blood baths. And they never they never accepted the fine art of boxing at its sweetest form and hit and not get hit. And, you know, the commentary cast single handedly killed hbo nothing less nothing more it was them the production on hbo was awesome 24 7 awesome it was an awesome fucking idea man but the commentary cast other than roy jones bernard and andre ward george foreman and once upon a time links lewis was awesome 
But as each one of them will fall out of favor or leave like Foreman, Lennox, these dudes, Larry Merchant, Max Kellerman, Jim Lampley, um, uh, Harold Letterman, were able to stay there because they had the complexion for the selection. And at the end of the day, they single-handedly, they single-handedly were responsible for murdering HBO along with Peter Nelson, who was over to HBO Sports, who who didn't who didn't handle the situation at all. He got over there, cut ties with Top Rank. You know, before him, Ken Hirschman, I think, cut ties with Al and PBC. And he didn't care about boxing. If he cared about boxing and wanted to clean up the boxing division, he would have cleaned house with Jim Blamley, Larry Merchant, Harold Letterman. He would have cleaned house. But they didn't clean house. They didn't clean house with those guys. And ultimately, them dudes was the was the ultimate death of boxing. You know, single handedly responsible for the death of boxing. You know, it's n- nobody else. Peter Nelson, Lampley, Merchant, Letterman, Kellerman <laughs> were responsible for the death of boxing on HBO. And maybe HBO comes back in boxing in a few years or a year, whatever it may be, and come out with a new cast. But these these dudes right here were single-handedly responsible for the death of HBO Boxing, along with Peter Nelson. And at the end of the day, I think they sensed they knew it was coming. Everybody knew it was coming. Let me know what you think. It's the Boxing Clinic and more. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Shout out to the whole LDC, baby. Shout out to the brother Southside Boxing 601 from Mississippi. Mississippi, y'all go check out my boy Southside Boxing 601 in Mississippi. I see you. I see you, bro, grinding. And shout out to everybody, man. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Y'all know what the business is. One time for the one time we grinding. We don't grind and shine.